Solar cell technology advancements are at the heart of Tianwei New Energy's plans to become a major international player. PV Tech talks with Mike Tao Jiang, VP and CTO of Tianwei New Energy, about its new Griffin proprietary solar cell approach. Tao also covers the strategy behind its new Tianwei New Energy Research Institute with Nanjing University, and also highlights the current ramp of its selective emitter cell technology into volume production. Here at, at EU PV Sec, the emphasis is on technology, is on, yes. on, on efficiency. Now, you know, you recently developed the Griffin uh, solar cell uh, technology. Could you explain exactly what that is? Okay, because in Tianwei, you know, as I said, we are not the, we are not just the emphasize the scale. We the concern the technology very much. This is why you know we have the capability to do further expansion. So for the Griffin solar cells, it is the new product for TMV. We spend you know, a lot of time and a lot of efforts from our research and development engineers' efforts. And the Griffin solar cells, in fact, it's a sort of high efficiency solar cells. Yeah. It combines the improvement of silicon wafer quality and solar cell in manufacturing technology together, it's the combination results. Yeah, for the uh, solar cell, solar uh, wafer, you know, uh, quality improvement, we developed our you know special uh, processing condition for the growth of ingot to so make the be better quality wafers. And on the other hand, for the solar cells, we improved a lot of you know uh, conditions and new uh, import for these parameters to improve the efficiency. So it's a combination of good, better quality wafers and uh, better technology of solar cells. Yeah. Now, um, obviously uh, you're a relative newcomer, but, uh, but uh, are you adopting you know, advanced cell designs and, and is this a proprietary in-house development? Mm. Yes, because uh, yeah, in Tianwei New Energy is a relatively newcomer in this industry, but our uh, team our tech, especially our technology team, we have a lot of experience, a long-term environment in this industry. For example, myself, you know, I have been in this industry for over 20 years. So we have a lot of know-how, a lot of experience, you know, to improve the processing conditions and the technology level of the product. So this is the advantage of TMV, why we can catch up so quickly. Well, there was obviously uh, uh, recently uh, an announcement uh, with the inauguration of uh, the Tianwei New Energy Research Institute uh, of the Nan Nanjing University. What's significant about 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 this uh, development? Okay, because in Tianwei, you know, you, you know, Tianwei New Energy, it's the state-owned company in China. That means it's the government-supported companies. So we emphasize the long-term advantages in technology. So in Tianwei, you know, we have a lot of, you know, uh, collaboration with institutes. But uh, the Nanjing University, you know, the new Tianwei New Energy Research Institute of Nanjing University, which is located in Tianwei New Energy, you know, so this is very unique in China. Because, you know, we, in Tianwei, you know, we are very clear. We are represent the technology level. Well, it, see, it seems obviously with uh, uh, with the developments that, that that are ongoing with your your higher efficiency cells, there's others have had challenges in in bringing uh, high efficiency solar cells from the lab into volume production. Um, can you give us an update on um, you know with your selective emitter technology what, what that road what the uh, expansion uh, side is happening? In, in fact, uh, we did a lot of research before we you know, uh, start the mass production of these selective emitters. When we do any research, we always keep in mind we are not only the technology in the parameter, we keep in mind it's the cost issue also. Yeah. So from this side, for the selective emitter, we did a lot of preparation. And now in Tianwei, we have six lines, six standard lines for this selective emitter cells. It's about, you know, 180 megawatts now already in full operation. 
So we expect by end of this year, we'll have another 120 megawatts of this sort of selective emitter. So then we'll have 300 megawatts in total in full operation. Well, Dr. Chang, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, my pleasure.